Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. I think it was about six or seven years ago I put together this in-window solar air heater. And what it is, it's a double wall polycarbonate panel and it's got a fan here in the bottom corner and then there's one up in the upper corner. The intake is up here and then basically the air comes down, around, through this labyrinth and then it's blown out through this 120 millimeter PC fan over there. So when I built this, I made a series of videos. I don't think I did a very good job explaining how this works because I've got a, quite a number of comments and questions over the years and I wanted to do this update video to explain a little better. So number one, this has been installed and operating every day since I built it. So I'm still using it. It's running today. There's warm air coming out of there. So I'll put a picture in of the heater that was shown on the This Old House show that kind of was the inspiration for this, although mine is quite different. So that uh, heater that was shown on This Old House was a standalone unit. It was basically a hot air panel with a little solar panel and a fan on it that sat in the middle of a room and you would have sunlight shine on the panel, it would heat the air, and then the fan would blow it out like this one does. Now that particular device is basically worthless. It doesn't do anything. That's the common question that I get, is that the heat that's come through that window to heat the air has already come into the room and that's the case even with my heater. So this device here, this thing in the window, doesn't really capture any additional heat. It doesn't make heat. I mean the heat that's come in here and is blowing out that fan is already in the room. If I took this thing out, the same number of watts of heat would be coming in. The difference is heat flows two directions and at night this heater is a very good insulator. Like I said, it's double wall polycarbonate panel and then it's got an air gap in the double wall panel and then there's two air gaps, one before the metal mesh and then one on the other side of the metal mesh. And then there's a single pane glass window. So this is an older house. It was built in the mid 50s and you can see it's just single pane glass with aluminum frames. So that by definition is R1 insulating value, is a single pane of glass. Well this double wall polycarbonate panel is about R2 and then the, the air gaps in there between the metal mesh I think it's about a half inch on each side that's probably another R1 or so so if you add up all the insulating value of this heater it's about an R4 for heat going out now for heat coming in because I'm blowing air through there it's like R1 coming in. The heat comes easily through the window, it gets captured, and then it gets blown out into the room here. So the way to really describe this, it's like a thermal diode. The heat comes in relatively easily. There's R1 for heat coming in, and it's R4 for heat going out. And in the winter, most of the time it's cold and dark outside so having something that limits the heat going out is better than having a an open window check here real early in the morning it wasn't particularly cold last night only got into the middle 40s i think here's the windowsill so i wanted to check the temperature so we've got about 62 and if I go over here to the plain glass part, I get about 56, 57. And you can definitely feel just a cold downdraft on my hand right there. Where over here, no feeling of cold at all. So I think that uh, 
help keep the heat in at night and keep the cold air out. Now, of course, I could have some thermal curtains there. I could lower the curtains at night, raise them when the sun is shining. But that's a lot of work. you got to remember to open the curtains on the sunny days and close the curtains as the sun sets. This thing runs automatically. It triggers off of a uh, solar panel here that's on the outside. If there's enough light on that panel to run the fan, it runs the fan. The other thing is, because this is a very good insulator, I leave it in place in the summer because in the summer we get the afternoon sun comes right in this window and makes it really hot and uncomfortable in here but this reflects most of the heat out and then the, the other minor point is on the other side of this window about six feet away is my neighbor's bedroom window Again, I could use the, the shades that I have. I could lower these. That's what I used to do, was lower them at night, raise them during the day. With this, I can just leave it in there all the time, and the fact that I can't see into my neighbor's window is a big benefit. I've just left this in place. Like I said, this is single-pane aluminum frame windows. The common question is, well, why don't you just put in double-pane, triple-pane windows? I probably will one day to do new windows. It makes sense to do all the windows in the house. It doesn't make sense just to do one window. I might as well do all the windows. And that's a fair chunk of money to do all the windows in the house. Like I say, I'll probably do it at some point. Like if the uh, gas company came out with a rebate to you know, get 25% back. I would jump on it right away. There's no rebates right now, and this costs a lot less than a new window, and I could do it right now, and I could just do this one window, and it's been working quite well. So yeah, just to summarize, so this in-window heater doesn't capture any additional heat that wouldn't have come through the window already. If I took this thing out, there would be no change in the amount of heat coming into this room. But if I take this out, there's four times as much heat being lost to the outside as there is if I leave this in place. And again, this is automatic. I don't have to raise and lower curtains or do anything. I just leave it like this. Uh, the other thing I've done is put some bubble wrap on the window just so that in the older months, I lose less heat to the outside. Again, I don't really care because I'm just looking into the neighbor's kid's bedroom window. This thing, it blocks the view, it gets the heat in, it limits heat loss, and I've just left this in place for six or seven years now. I would only take this thing out if I were to replace these windows and get some double pane windows. I heat the house on solar heat my main solar panels kind of cut off in the late afternoon but this thing keeps going till the sun drops over the house next door as always thanks for watching